So have you ever wondered why UFC fighters get paid dramatically less than boxers? Now what we're going to be talking about the prize fighters here, making comparisons. So if you've noticed that UFC fighters get predominantly less money than boxers, so why is that? Is that because of the way the, the fighters are or just how it is? No, you'll be very surprised. It's actually the way the business is it's actually structured as well. So take a look at the these numbers here. You'll be surprised, the comparisons. So firstly, I want to go through the comparisons in both the highest pay-per-view sellouts in the boxing and the UFC history. So the first one, you got the Conor McGregor versus Habib Nurmagomedov. And then the second comparison was Mayweather. And the boxing bout between Mayweather and Oscar De La Hoya back in 2007. Total revenue of 136 million revenue was generated which was a full salad of 16,000 in the MGM Grand Arena. This was even a factor in the pay-per-view boys. So that was a guaranteed just on its own, a 24 million for Oscar and 10 million for Mayweather. This was even factored in the pay-per-view boys as well. If we factor these numbers in, this was more closer to 50 million for Oscar De La Hoya, 25 million to Mayweather. On the other hand, in comparison, McGregor received 3 million and 2 million for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And the best comparison I can make to the UFC and the boxing as to why fighters get paid less in the UFC and more in boxing is simply because the way it's actually structured. So boxers are more self-employed business owners and on the other hand, UFC fighters are employed. There's actually a really good book I re recommend you go read or if you've already checked it out, it's called Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. So you've got the four cash quadrant. The UFC fighters are employed in the left side quadrant, whereas the boxers are more self-employed than business owners. Hence the reason they get dramatically more. Boxers have nobody to answer to. So basically they've got promoters, they can move along promoters and the promote rely on them. Whereas on the other way around, the, the UFC fighters rely on the UFC and are banned by their contract. They can't even get sponsorships as well, which I'll be discussing in a moment. Boxing has numerous free markets. The ball is in the boxer's court, whereas the UFC, the ball is in the UFC's court. Now, don't get me wrong, UFC fighters can earn more on top of their base salary. This includes higher ranking fighters. So if you're ranked higher, you're gonna get a lot higher salary. And also the audience that they bring in. For example, Joe Masvidal is not really a ranked number one ranked fighter, but because he brings the crowds in, he'll get slightly more than the average fighter. Fighters also get bonus depending on their fighting fighting history and the level that they fight at. Again, if one ranked fighter. However, predominantly the revenue goes to the top, to the UFC, and the, the revenue is distributed out to the fighters as a salary bonus and a very small percentage of pay-per-views. Now, there was a recent interview by Francis Ngannou where he actually went on the Joe Rogan show and he actually complained about how bad he was paid in regards to the pay-per-view shares. That's a very interesting uh, interview and it just goes to sum up exactly the poor, the way the f UFC fighters are treated in regards to pay. UFC is basically an organization, they're a business really. They've got shareholders they need to account to. So end of the day, they're a business and they need to be performing. Now the fighters, if they're not performing, they get kicked out, simple as that. They need to be hitting certain metrics as well. So if they're on a five losing streak or more, then they're going to be kicked out and replaced by new talented fighters and exciting fighters as well. And in some instances, even decent fighters, if they can bring in audiences, the UFC will prioritize that over the rankings. So for example, at UFC 286, when Leon Edwards beat Kamaru Usman on the second occasion when they met. UFC matched Edwards with Colby Covington. This doesn't make sense from the fans perspective, but from the business standpoint, it made a lot of sense. Simply because if you watch Colby Covington, he's a trash talker and that's what sells these days, unfortunately. And that's why it made sense from a business perspective. Now, boxing is completely different. Two fighters will come together and they will agree a split on the pay-per-view. The promoters will come together and they'll agree a split. It could be something like 50-50, 60-40, 70-30, you see it all the time. They then have a promoter who will uh, bid for the purse and promote his fight. They'll get their cut afterwards. Unlike UFC, uh, all of the revenue goes directly to the fighters, minus all the fees, including the 
promoters and also the undercard fighters as well the marketing the trainers and all all the other expenses as well such as the stadium and all the other overheads to go with it in essence the boxer is the business owner basically some of you are very smart enough to actually set up their own company and they've got a strong team with them that deals with all these other aspects whereas unfortunately ufc fighters they're relying on the ufc to do everything for them and in return they get a very small portion now when i say boxes i don't mean all boxes now the fighters on the undercards they'll get significantly less they'll even get less than the average ufc fighter and they agree wage will be provided now should one day those fighters move up the ranks and show significant prospects and are just winning beating all their opponents and what eventually happens is they just fight under their promotion and then starts like that so for example Javante Davis he started under Mayweather promotion and then eventually because he was such a talented fighter winning all the time yeah he went on became an independent and found up to another promotion and unfortunately with the UFC they don't allow for their fighters to earn additional income such as sponsorships on the other hand boxers can make such as lucrative income let me give you an example such as Anthony Joshua back in 2021 that year alone in sponsorships he made 8.9 million pounds from the likes of Under Armour, Hugo Boss, Land Rover and Jaguar that's crazy that's more than the actual UFC fight I guess throughout the whole year sadly the UFC fighters don't have this type of luxury they have fans but unfortunately they're just promoting the brand like George St. Pierre said perfectly fans don't say I'm going to watch MMA they say I'm going to watch UFC so it's the brand these fans the most likely going to watch another fighter if one retires then there's always somebody to step into their shoes and that's what the UFC wants it's not like for example Michael Jordan he's built his own name more the brand is the UFC not the fighter themselves it's no wonder there's up and coming shows such as the PFL which are seeing a gap in the market where they're actually experimenting with guarantee 50% revenue where they're offering fighters 50% of the revenue I think this will definitely be a game changer for the fighters and they may actually even consider moving to this one and it's really a fantastic opportunity and in general some critics may say well end of the day there's more revenue in boxing hence the reason why the fighters get paid more well it's actually very similar to the UFC and the boxing as well the revenue shares are very similar as well so there's definitely a flaw in that argument of saying that there's revenue let's give you an example for example uh, Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor the revenue they generated was 80 million whereas on the other hand Klitschko versus Anthony Joshua was 68 million significantly less but the boxers made significantly more so there you are guys that's why boxers get paid a lot more than UFC fighters what do you guys think you think there's a good opportunity for fight MMA fighters to get significantly more with the new PFL let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and if you like this video today I really appreciate it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell notification otherwise I'll see you in the next one